a sheet metal workshop and today I'm gonna make a valve box will almost look like this only it's gonna be in this position and it will have here a split part okay let's get started with the metal here And we got the rest on. So first what we're gonna do we take metal A one six five so you can do it with a bow divider just take this size and cut it but I like to work with models like this and it's faster, it's easier, so I'm gonna mark here a couple of millimeter just like that because I want to have those sizes exactly when they fit together. The other is in the upper, upper side, also here. This one it comes like this, so just checking if it fits, and this one is gonna come like this. Okay, you see it fits precisely, and that's why it fits. If you cut it with hand and you make the circle around, mostly you cut also here the end of it, and you got a difference. Okay. Next part is because those two are coming together, I'm gonna turn it around, put them together, take this hole puncher to punch a hole in those metal, like this. And the other side, like here, yeah, like this. Okay, done. Okay, next part is uh, snips, snips. So now we're gonna cut those overlap off. That's optional, you can also do it later. So and now, for now those covers are done. So now we come to the circumference of the box and that is here. Okay, part C is one quarter round, it's got two times 30 millimeter overlap. I'm gonna give some overlap. I'm gonna do one centimeter, ten millimeter. And I'm gonna make here some holes in this part, in the ten millimeter part, because after this, after the rounding and everything at the end, I'm gonna put here wool pins in it. So this is gonna be round one quarter. I'm gonna only a quarter rounding do it. Part B. So we got 160 down, 160. So mostly uh, this is my experience. If it, if it says 160 and I've got a straight, I always give one millimeter more. So I'm gonna give 161. Because the, the cover later fit better. 
I don't want to allow that the cover come over the circumference of the box. 161. Here comes 10 millimeter to know for those sizes here for those wool pins again. One, two. Here comes an angle. I'm gonna bend it 90 degrees, and here comes the S for a switch. So there where I'm going to bend it later, I'm going to punch it also a hole in it and also on the other side, put it here in. So now the part above, this the upper part comes, also 160. I also give here one millimeter more, so it's going to be 161. That's my experience, so it, you can also give 160. Everything depends on, on what kind of a machine you have, and maybe other sheet metal workers are also good, but have an other system how they do it. So the next part is the here. This is the part you're going to bend 90 degrees up. Now the rounding part, because 160, 160 is 320, so it's easy. It's always from the, from the starting metal until there. In this case, we have 320, so it's, it doesn't matter. It's, it's, it also could be 400 or 350, it doesn't matter. But here we have 160, 160 is 320, so we start here, 320 from here. Just put here... An, Mark one side 320, mark on the other side. So from this line on, my rounding starts, and it's precisely so from here on. The rounding part starts, so I'm gonna also one quarter rounding a switch here, and here comes a switch. So again. Those edges, here comes for the wool pins, if you don't have wool pins you don't have to do this, the fence, and here also I'm going to do, here I forgot, Go to the bleeding machine here. And here where the wool pens comes and just give it a little kink. I think it's called a kink, I'm not sure. Only a little. So when you put later on to put the box together, it won't stuck. So I'm gonna do that here also the same. And now we go to the other machine, this one, the beating machine where, with the valve wheels. These are the valve wheels. So the valve wheels, it's on each other, but this one is a little bit out of the center, not much, only a little bit. So I've got from, from this size to the outside, and that depends on every machine, maybe it's different, but mostly it's 18 millimeter. So, 
push it to the machine. First time, only a quarter, spin it. The second time. On the third time, sorry. You see here it's, yeah, it's an angle, it's like it's almost 90 degree here. And uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to spin this peel back for one round and a quarter, I think. This depends, it's on every machine different. And now I'm going to put it on the machine through like this. So it looks like this now. Well, a little bit more maybe. So now it's over 90 degrees, you see? And that's what I'm gonna do also with the other parts. You don't have to go too deep, because if you go too deep, and by closing it later, you will have a lot of how you say, more standing over this circumference, so I'm not going too deep. And it also depends on what kind of material that we get, stainless steel or aluminium, this is zinc, aluminium zinc. So this also, okay, done. So now, again to the bending machine, we're going to bend the 90 degrees. Well, on this machine, it's a little bit hard, you know, because in the other workshop, I've got other machines, we can make this as an exact size. But here, we can't, so we're going to squeeze a little bit this side. Huh? There's nothing to do in this situation, but not too much. Yeah, that's what I meant. See, squeeze a little bit too much. Let these things here. Now we're going to change those wheels. I think they called beading wheels. I'm not sure. But they are going. Here I've got three millimeter. But I'm gonna take another testing. Again, I don't know if you can see it, so I'm gonna close up a little bit. So, yeah, that's the size we want. You see, the first big line is five millimeters. I'm gonna put it here on. It's four, and outside we have five. So now I'm gonna do those other cover plates and don't take the core. Well, if you do a lot of boxes at once, I got now only one box, but if you have maybe 10 boxes or five boxes, you can have a help put it on with those grip things and it is like this and this is all also an angle of 45 degree and you can do it but I'm not using this now at the moment
And the last one. Okay. They're done. Next step. The last one on the machine. And that is, we gotta put this wheel a little bit to the front. So it want to be equal with this one. So I'm gonna. Oh no, the uh, the other under wheel goes back. So they are now exactly on each other, and they are in the same line. So now I'm gonna put this cover here in. Uh, it's a little bit squeezed. Happens normally. The other machines it won't happen because it's already squeezed. Just gonna finish it. This one also. Just squeeze it with the upper wheel. One side. Okay, we will take care of it later. Other one, just push it until this corner is back. And again, just squeeze it. That's one. Here. And here I'm gonna do it the same thing, but now from this side, so this side is gonna be equal. Okay, that's it first. Now I'm gonna go back here on my table. Take the camera. Okay, now we're gonna do the next part is we're gonna do something about this corner because it doesn't look nice. If you have a piece of metal just like this, just hold it like here and And you see, you got a nice corner, same thing. Yeah, also, See the nice corner, nothing to see. So, you see, I here it fits, and here, well, it's a little bit standing over. Just hold this here. And it's done. So, the next part is, you have to cut those edges here off. So there are two ways you can do it, depends what material you have. You can take the hacksaw and saw it, or what I'm going to use is the angle grinder. And therefore I need to put on 
my safety glasses. So it's going to be a little bit loud. Okay, that part is also done. Now we're going to cut it out. Those edges. So now we're going to do the second thing is we're going to put those wool pins in it. Something happened with the battery, the camera, I don't know what. So. Those wool pens. Therefore, I need this machine. So now it's easy, just put them together. This one we have because we already made it. Too small. Oh, shit. So now we're going to make here yeah, the next hole in it. Okay, almost done. So now we're gonna put those band with clips, and therefore I need the circumference of this box. And that is how much. Uh, 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 uh. Well, we have here 110 and 414. So I need 114. So we're gonna. Go to this side there, it's on the ground lying. Hundred and fourteen. Copy that one. Okay, now we go back. We're gonna put all those clips. Take okay, this one. First, we're gonna make the first hole in front. Second hole, we mark this one. Other side. Copy this one here, put it over here. Okay. Where are those? Let's start with. 
take this one and this one I take now. Put it in here. Mark it. Done. Okay, the box is done. So this is how I draw it. And this is how it is. So we're going to check the sizes. We said here 160, 160. So I don't know if you can see it. 160, 320. And we have here also 320, just like it is. Okay, well, that was the felt box, a three-part lying felt box. When it is a standing, well, I had to have here a, a crimping cover. But maybe next time. Okay, well, that was the first example about uh, the felt box. And uh, I hope uh, I did it right, so... See you next time.